Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we now pick up right where we left off. Rest in peace, Tenderloin. At the ruination of Stank Golf, hail the new champion! <laughs> you and me, we were meant to be together. Hey! You're not done here yet, friend. He's coming out of reach here. Who the hell is he? Tonight, the great prize of gas town will be delivered by someone very special. Dear to us all, though we fear him to the core. Gaze upon him! Return to us from the afterlife! Fast in his glory, O oh Gastel! He who has conquered death like his father before him! Immortal! An Olympian! A Godhead! Oh, hell. The blade proves me immortal. But I will not rest until I have slaughtered the demon who put it there. I know he lives still. Scrotus suffered his first real defeat at the hands of Max, who almost killed him with Scrotus' own preferred weapon, the pole pruner, when the chainsaw blade lodged into Scorpus' cor corpus callosum cutting his brain in two. Unable to, re to remove the blade, Scrotus recovered, but the injury unlocked an even deeper, insatiable bloodlust. The pain was constant, excruciating, and drove him to great excesses of violence. His fits of rage were unstoppable. Death was the only thing which soothed him. Death and rage. Adorning his chainsaw blade like a ceremonial armor, Scrotus is now viewed by his men as an immortal, just like the image of his father, Immortan Joe. Not knowing if Max is dead or alive, any man who even resembles Max quickly becomes another severed head in his vast and growing collection. Scortus used to follow a certain code of conduct in dealing with the denizens of the Wasteland, but no more. All of the areas surrounding Gastown now live in a constant fear of unprovoked attack. To carry out his brutal orders, Scortus has chosen his most demented lieutenant, Stank Gum. May he rot in peace. Go for it, says my laws and Drapper. Oh, hell, not that I have much choice. Getting the benefit of all those points. I don't have my shotgun on me. How? I mean, that'll do it. that brain anyway. Wish I could throw this thing at him, that'll be red. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I see. I didn't see if his health bar was uh, emptying. I had to stop the timer. No. I'd have to split this one into two videos. I thought Immortal Enemy was a bit odd of a description for stank gum. supposed to go over the edge. There you go. Now you're dead. Sort of piles of men in his wake. Mmm! Suplex! If I find out where they put Jesse, they're all dead men. Fuck, probably not taking damage. Car, is that what he was saying? Champion, not yet. You'll get well, and when you do, I got another for you. Yes, my child. You will help me get her back as soon as I get you fixed up. Stand You're too strong to break now. Would you? Abdominus, organic mechanic, my champion. He's wounded. Swing, or you'll end up more of a mess than him. Let's get him to the chair. Huh? 
Uh... There's someone you should meet. Who? It's someone from before. <laughs> Didn't mean you, dog eater. There now, ding dee dee. Huh? We're all friends here. Huh? Friends of him. <laughs> yes, only he doesn't want to know about it, huh? Too afraid of the ghost. I just don't want any friends. Bit late for that thing. to cut yourself off just because you lost us. You will do it again, husband. And this time, you'll do it right. Do you, crazy-eyed road warrior, take this wasteland concubine to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Now your blood nourishes the weak. <laughs> My blood may it burn through your veins and scorch your soul. Pay us my payment! Huh? Yeah. Go on, get out! Get out now! Where is she? The woman? A concubine. Uh, out there, in the underbelly. You owe her a life! Don't know why she cares for a shit sack like you! Keep walking, blood leech! The audio seems to be out of sync. Immortal enemy. I won the race, but my prize was taken away by Scrotus himself. I need a new plan to get the big chief and have no choice but to trust the concubine Hope. Okay, so... This is the beginning of a new session. I'm not actually sure where it's going to drop me off when I load, so I'm going to show you. Just made my way to a safe-ish spot and thought I'd leave off there last time. I gotta find it. Make sure the car is safe. I honestly can't tell if this is the same area or not. I don't think I had my shotgun last time, but, uh... Well, we'll see. Abdominus, the organic mechanic. Broken bodies is my trade. I'll fix anyone up for the right price. In the underbelly, I get enough biz to keep me in fresh blood bags. Maggots. And nitro. Abdominus has fallen hard from grace. He was once the organic mechanic aboard one of Gastown's most celebrated war machines, but his love for nitrous oxide and other stimulants stymied his career. He has been stationed in the underbelly of Gastown since his last and final battlefield failure, when in a chemically induced haze of disorientation, he left a badly burnt war boy to smolder to death on his operating table. Now he is free to indulge in his habits, operating on unfortunates, vagrants, and thralls for enough scrap to get his next fix. Sometimes Abdominus's skill is that of a butcher's apprentice, 
At other times, he is close to being a brilliant wartime medic. It all has to do with how much nitrous oxide he has sniffed before the operation. He uses the unfortunate lad's scab as a blood bag, while constantly indulging in his own stash of medicinal cockroaches, maggots, and nitrous oxide for his own personal gain. And gain means weight. There is nothing as rare as a fat person in the wasteland. Hmm. And scab. I was denied my destiny at Scrotus' side. Now my blood will destroy him. Scab was a proud warboy in Scrotus' own legion. He saw many grand battles and was looking forward to a quick and glorious death on the battlefield amongst his, his brethren. Hmm. Witness. But he was badly wounded and could no longer fight. With his body crippled, his blood flowed pure, so Scrotus approved him for use as a human blood bag where he could still be of use in the road war effort. Scab was eventually traded to the black market of Gastown and ended up in the care of Abdominus. Scab believes he has been cheated of his true purpose. He hates his former master Scrotus of the Passion. As his life is slowly drained from him, his hatred festers. That's really messed up. The Big Chief Chariot. Yeah, I guess I didn't check that the most recent time I ran the race. Or this one, for that matter. I know where this is. This is just inside Gastown. This is the zone where I never did find all of the things. There are two scrap and a history relic hiding down here somewhere. Yes, I do. Long hair and beard with goggles successfully installed. There, now I'm in disguise. Okay, it's not a very good disguise, but work with me here. It's funny. Maybe that reset when I changed the shirt. Oh, sorry. Doesn't have a bed, but has her own table. I guess I should go find the car, huh? Car. Where's my car? Oh, that's silly. Um. Like anyone won't recognize me, let's face it. It did turn off when I changed the shirt. I saw that. Oh, I think this is the, uh. That's where I came in. Yeah. Embarrassing. I wonder if I'll ever get the chance to get those uh, missing things. At the least, I could use that history relic. Is this where I just was? Chief, even! Uh, she dwells down here. Somewhere. 
Okay. Say what you want, stranger. Oh. Thank you. That was very useful intel. Last time I was down here, it was flooded with gas. There's hope. Still can hard to adjust everything that happened last time. Scrotus showing up and having to fight Thunt Tenderloin to the death. Oh, I've just barged into your home, my bad. I don't know that I would have been so willing to fight Tenderloin if it weren't for the fact that I had just been massively frustrated by having to do that race like a million times. And by like a million, I mean like maybe ten. fast travel back there. Or maybe I can just do this. Oh yeah, I remember this, yeah. Yeah, that's the way deeper. I didn't get any water out of it. Also, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it only 101? Well, that's ominous as all get out. I mean, that's where I'm going. Do I go to talk to Hope and then maybe get dragged halfway across the map? Or do I go in there looking for treasure and then maybe have to double back on myself and go find the car? Hmm. Well, I'll make a decision. For now, this is over. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max. Things have gotten complicated. So, uh, it's a good thing that Max here is very good at keeping things simple. Later.